Welcome back to The Cutting Board. Today, I've invited my mom to come back on the show and make for us a vegan gravy. Gravy is something that we eat on mashed potatoes, on roasts, on all kinds of different things. So knowing how to make a good vegan gravy is going to add an important dish to your repertoire. Yes. So mom, what ingredients are we using? It looks like we're going to make a mushroom gravy. I think it's a, our favorite. All right, it it's is our favorite. Mushroom gravy, um, where we will use mushrooms, fresh cut mushrooms, fresh onions, some of the vegetable seasoning, just oil. Uh, this is soy sauce, fresh garlic, salt. This is a little bit of flour for thickening. And we use in this here about three tablespoons of soya sour cream or tofuti sour cream. And we mix it a little bit with water so it's easier to pour. All right. So what are we going to start with? Something very easy. Mm -hmm. Let's put some oil in there, which is about three tablespoons. Would you like right. to do the adding? So, so. I'm going to go ahead yes. and turn that on. Yeah. So we're starting with the oil? Yes. How much? About three tablespoons. You can put a little less if you like. We can right away put onions and mushrooms. Got our onions in there and our mushrooms. How much mushrooms? Okay, we have four cups of, ma of mushrooms. And of the onions? Onions, just a big, one big onion, medium size. We have two tablespoons of salt, which two we can put on right salt. away. And two teaspoons of um, soya sauce. All right, so I'll keep stirring while pick, you put that in. We can put that in right away. Very shortly, we can put garlic in. We need to saute it for about three minutes, four minutes. No, it doesn't need much. It's already getting um, really nice, so we can, um, it's almost finished to add our rest of our ingredients. And it does not need much. Now we can add our flour. Flour acts as a thickening agent. Some people use cornstarch, but you can use even whole wheat flour. It's just something that will make it a little bit thicker. And this here is our vegetable um, seasoning. Seasoning. Now, when we add flour, we need to add a little bit of water. Just a little bit. Again, it's not frying, it's more sauteing. And almost, not really cooking, but almost there. Just for a few minutes. And you can see that it's starting to thicken already. Now we are going to add our sour cream. Okay, this sauce can be made thinner or thicker, depends on your taste and how dry your roast or whatever you're using it on can be. This does not need much longer. I'm going to add just a little bit more of water. So now, it, when it starts boiling, it will get thicker. And that's all we need to do. Once it boils, it's ready? It's ready. So in that case, we just need to wait for this to boil, and then we're ready to eat. Oh, I love that smell. So you've got a great aroma from the mushrooms, and this sauce is ready to eat. We're just gonna cool it down just a little bit, and we're gonna come back and have a couple of examples of how we're gonna use this gravy. I remember this from when I was a kid. And this gravy was awesome. We ate it on mashed potatoes, which I really loved. And when we got older, we started to like roast. So mom made roast and we would put it on top of that too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. And you made another example for us. What did you do there? Well, I've used that roast and I have made the same sauce, mushroom sauce, poured it over and just baked it in the oven a little bit just till it gets bubbly and then we use it with mashed potatoes or anything else that we need to do. So when you do it like that, then the gravy actually gets soaked into the roast. Yes, it does. Get but it, it really has a flavor. nice nice flavor. It has a really nice flavor. Yeah. So the best way to eat this is mashed potatoes for me. But of course, you're gonna eat it wherever you eat gravy. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this again. Mm. That's delicious, that's perfect. That's exactly what I'm gravy. looking for in a gravy. Of course, I love the mashed potatoes too, and the roast. But regardless of what you like gravy with, 
This gravy is going to be excellent. Mom, thank you so much for showing You're us. You're welcome. It's bringing back a lot of really, really good memories. Join us again on the cutting board for more great recipes just like this.